Did you enjoy learning about the network layer of the Internet Protocol stack? Let's review. We first learned about the services the network layer provides, routing and forwarding. We broke down the network layer into data plane and control plane and discussed how services in each are provided. We also reviewed the architecture of a router that is the main network device. Routers carry the complexity of the core of our networks. We learned general router architecture, including switch fabric, input and output ports, and how switching, queuing, and scheduling happens at a router. Then we focused on the data play and digged into traditional destination-based forwarding as well as STM-based generalized forwarding. We also discussed internet protocol, the main protocol of the network layer and its foundational service of addressing. We discussed how addresses are designed and assigned to hosts, subnets, networks, and ISPs. Finally, we discussed the control plane and how it is performed in traditional per router control, as well as the shift to centralized control in the software-defined networking. For per router control, we learned algorithms, protocols, as well as importance of policies in decision-making in larger scale. For centralized control, we learned the general framework and observed the changes in the trend of network innovation through SDN. This concludes our basic introduction to the Internet's network layer.